Anything is possible. It started with a dream. Our passion made a difference and built a family. We've Hello and welcome to a live with Libby. Um, I'm a day early today. Going down to look after the grandkids tomorrow, so I thought I'd jump on today. And um, we, I'm using the Come Sail Away with uh, Sweet this week. I'm hoping we don't have any dropouts this week like we have the last couple of weeks. Oh, thanks, Wendy. This is the first time we've been asked to go down and mine these grandchildren for a while. So it should be fun. My son and his daughter dropped in on Saturday and um, she's a lovely little girl. She brought her bunny called Mai and... Mai needed some mending done, can I tell you. Mai is very much loved and um, needed some mending of her dress done. So Gran was able to do that. So anyway, hello Karen, how are you? And then there's little Jacob. Let's see, Paige is four and a half and Jacob's 18 months and Joshua is 13, I think. So, it should be a fun day tomorrow. And we're staying at my daughter's tonight, but she's not there because they jet out for Fiji today with her family. So, hoping that the flights aren't cancelled or rescheduled or something. Anyway, I was just... How are you, Karen? Oh, I'm glad you're well. Somebody turned the cold tap on. I know we're in winter. But seriously, it's nice if you can get a sheltered spot in the, in the sun, but that wind chill is freezing, just having some coffee. All right, so I just wanted to talk to you about, thanks for sharing, Wendy. Um, bonus days. Don't forget, if you spend $90, you get a $9 coupon that you can uh, redeem in August and also if you join this month great joining offer you get an extra $45 in your kit and I'd love you to be in my team so uh, think about joining message me or text me and I'll phone you um, all the details are on my blog of how you can contact me or on Facebook. Yeah, easy as that. Um, yeah, so that's about all I've got to share with you. Um, I think I'll just turn the camera around and we'll get started. Thanks, Karen. So, come sail away with me. beautiful bundle and it's not just for males you know lots of women like to sail and do things with sea so it's a whole suite and um, when I ordered it through pre-order or the product purchase premiere I didn't realize it didn't come with the embossing folder so I have to buy that still but if you wanted the whole suite Stampin' Up give you one um, number for the whole bundle and the whole suite so if you want the whole suite, it's $165.25. And that includes the 10% off your stamp set and dies. And you get one each of everything else. And all you need to do is add ink and cardstock and adhesive. And away you go. So I reckon that's really good. Um, there is, 
IC's 3D embossing folder is the one I have to order. All right, so that's the suite. Now I'm just going to share with you a few cards I've made from the suite. Now this was one of my first sponging attempts, but it was fun to make. Oh, before I go on, on Monday, yesterday, no, today, today is Monday, I've got a video on just using watercolour pencil for your background on watercolour paper, so that's up today. All right, and then I did some of these, remember the old tri, um, tri what was it called, um, double time stamping or triple time stamping? Well, I've done one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, quadruple time stamping for these two cards, one in navy and one in um, basic grey. I think I prefer the one in navy, but that's because I'm a navy sort of person. I like navy. All right, this card's going up tomorrow and I've used the Subtles uh, embossing folder on the back of that and then just die cut some of the seaweed from the dies in Old Olive, Vellum and Mossy Meadow. So that's another one. Here's another one that I've done um, using the Memories and More apart from these two bits. So I'll talk to you about that in a minute. And this is one I did for a blog hop on Saturday for the stamp and hop blog hop. And oh no, I hope the power doesn't go out too often, Wendy. Hello Gail, how are you? Thanks for sharing. So this is the one I did on Saturday. It was a case of the catalogue blog hop. Yeah, pick the mistake. My birds are upside down. Uh, I had a terrible day doing this. Anyway, so it's watercoloured in the background. I've stamped and embossed the uh, lighthouse. So that was my case, the catalogue card. And then on this Thursday, getting a sneak peek here, I've got this layout coming up. Hello Kathy. hope you're well. So I've got this layout coming up on Saturday. So this will be my first page for my trip to New Zealand in November last year when Bob and I went for three weeks and I put here three weeks north to south air, sea train and then I'd taken the photo and realized oh yeah we drove too so <laughs> all those modes of transport to see New Zealand okay and then on Friday I've got this six-sided box going up on my blog with a video of how to make it and all the measurements and everything will be there as well so it's got the rope around the bottom and you open it up and you can pop your gift inside and then just close it up again pop the top back on and it's done do you need to um Make sure these are well scored and burnished. All right, so that's those. So we're going to use the Sailing Home bundle, which does come as a bundle. You can buy them individually, but why would you? You'd pay more. If you buy them as a bundle, you get them for 10% less. Everyone likes a saving. So 
we're using those we're using the layering circles as well and i don't know whether we'll use the come sail away memories and more card pack but i just thought i'd show you these are stickers which of which i've used a couple um, and you get two sheets of those you get all these little cards and i used one um and i used a couple of others that i cut bits out of um i cut a large compass out and what else i don't know i'll find that card move my box um, here it is. I used the sentiment, that's right. So the sentiment came on one of these cards and you get two of everything. So and I just cut around it with my snips. This compass came on one of these cards with a, a few others and I just cut around it with my snips. How easy is that? Bit of DSP, got a card stamped on the inside and on the envelope so easy peasy with memories and more cards then it's got these great little layovers don't know if you can see these very well if i put them on some night of navy that's that one sort of ocean waves um then this one you get two of on the one so you've got a sailing ship and you've got a frame and this one you also get two of oh no you don't that's the lighthouse love that lighthouse it looks really good doesn't it um and then there's this one that you get two of so an anchor and the rope and the wheel and I love this one how great is that you can turn it over and you can sponge it do all sorts of things you could use that as a mask so um you know very useful here's another um thing of stickers so you get two sheets of each lot of stickers and yeah then you get a whole lot of six by four cards as well so think about getting the memories and more pack um well worth it and for a storage idea by a clear mount case and they all fit nicely in there so that's the come sail away memories and more card pack all right so today we're going to make a card with a bit of a fun fold and i've got a tall card so it's ten and a half wide by the length of the cardstock and I'll just burnish that fold and this is the cheats way of making this card you bring your trimmer in oh trimmer blades if you're into trimmer blades on sale first thing on Thursday morning 8 a.m. they go on sale now last time they sold out really quickly so if you're going to get some make sure you get in quick um because you don't want to miss out all right we're going to just get it paid we're not doing a fun fold after all my brain's not working in that way at the moment Maybe because I stayed up until 
So what's everyone up to today? Just staying inside out of the cold. All right, so this is, yeah, this will do. All right, so I'm going to cut this at 10. This is just going to be a quick and easy card today. Now keep your little bits, you can use them for something else. Hello Elizabeth, how are you? Thanks for joining us. Alright, I was going to do a fun fold, but we're now doing... Alright, which side? Do you like that side? Or that side given that I've already die cut a white and a navy and a congrats on it so that's that side or that side which side do you think guys anyone out there I'll just grab some baker's twine while you're having a think so, did you decide which side? The striped side. Give you the options again. Alright, so this is the ferny sort of side. Got two for stripes. So that's the ferny sort of side. This is the stripes. We're going with the stripes, are we? Hi Diane, how are you? You like the ferny side, do you, Karen? Hi, Rails. <laughs> Everyone's jumping in. Thanks so much for joining me a day early today. Not sure that my brain's ready for a day early. The ferny side. All right, I think we've got more votes for the fern than we have for the stripes so we'll go with the fern all right now while I was away getting bacon's twine and you were thinking stripes rails <laughs> stripes for boys all right we'll go with the stripes because I'm doing a boys one all right so I'm just going to get I ran out of tearing tape yesterday in the middle of the video how'd that happen just as well, I've always got a spare on hand. All right, two little bits of tear and tape. So those of you who've just jumped in, I've got this box coming up on my, on a, with a video on Friday. It's a six-sided box. Karen's happy we're doing the, the stripes. All right, so I'm just going to... Pop those down there like that. Flip this over. Have it straight. Could do a girl's one with this fern, couldn't I? Hadn't thought of that. Hmm. Thanks for that idea, Elizabeth. Oh. My fingers have got Monday-itis. I've been out pegging washing out. And um, it's just a little bit nippy out there. So I'm just going to flip these over. Hope they're straight. Looks about right, doesn't it? Flip that over. Put the tear and tape down. <laughs> I love all the enablers that watch my video. Hello, Chrissy, how are you? All right, so. Bit of glue. I've recently just donated about 50 cards to the community centre where I work. They use the money to put it back into community programs. So, yeah, I was that. I was fortunate enough to be able to do that. I like to be able to support 
the community in any way I can. Oh, good. I'm glad you're well, Chrissy. All right. So I'm going to just layer these up, seeing as I've already cut them. Uh, layering circle dies. And I've used one in Whisper White, one in Night of Navy. And I've done them so that they're, that you've got a, a nice, border around and then I've done a congrats and I cut it with the sailing home bundle what are those dies called smooth sailing dies I don't know why they don't call them sailing home stamps and sailing home dies don't you reckon that makes more sense what do you think guys Shouldn't I call them the same things? Anyway, that's just my opinion. Um, what am I after? Stampin' Dimensionals. And a pokey thing. Should be using my take your pick tool. Where's that? Here we go. Take your pick tool. Look, even in a case. Right, have you seen the new brush? That's the new brush, and it goes on an end. I don't want that bit. So the brush, oh no, the brush. I don't know how the brush goes on. Anyone got a clue? All right, anyway, I want end I want the pointy end uh, maybe undo all of that yeah that's for another day anyone use their brush other end on this end does it rails so you take this out do you take this out ah oh, look not just a pretty face rails on the putty end. Thanks, Leanne. So it goes on that end. You can tell I've used it, can't you? And then you've got your foam. So it'll all fit in a nice um, wood case. All right. Now that I've done that, I don't want that. But anyway, we'll leave it like that. All right. Seems a bit cumbersome having it on the end. Well, I just want the pointy bit. You can tell I've got Monday-itis. The coffee hasn't kicked in. I was up till 3am finishing my book. It's called The Kitchen House, if anyone wants a good book to read. I loved it. I've read a few books recently. Just um, not long finished reading a Jody Picoult book called House Rules. That was quite good. I read another one of hers too called um, Something Secrets, I think it was called. Anyway, all right. So that can go on there. And then I'll put this on there. This brush is putting me right off. <laughs> I'm going to have to take it off. All right, so we'll do a fun fold next week. I'll be better, better organised. I said I got up late because I slept late and, and didn't go to sleep till late. So put me a bit behind the eight ball today. All right, so that's going to go there. And then, what else am I doing? I'm going to take this. And I know we don't think of men with bows, but I take the two of those. And somewhere I've got my handy bow tying tool. 
And don't forget, I still have these for sale. $15 includes postage anywhere in Australia and it comes with full colour instructions. And I've got a video on my YouTube channel of how to use it. It's really quite easy. Um, Wendy bought one. How's yours going, Wendy? Oh, Rails, you're a laugh. <laughs> Thanks, Leanne, for telling me about the, the putty end. I tell you, the coffee hasn't kicked in. I'm struggling, girls. I'm struggling. All right. Glue dot. We haven't done the inside yet, have we? All right. Glue dot. A short and sweet Facebook Live today. All right. So that can go there. So I'm going to just join those two. This is the braided. Um, yeah, good on me. I'll look it up in a minute. Someone's probably got the answer out there. Braided, what is it, girls? Braided. Quick, before I look it up, I've got the Night of Navy Sahara Sand Baker's Twine and the braided, um, braided linen trim. So I've, I've tied them together and we might need a trinket or two, do you think? All right, so this has turned out to be Simple Stamping 101 today. Where have they gone? Oh, they're under my yellow fussy jeans. Is that what everybody else calls those? The perennial essence flower centers. I call them yellow fussy things. It's easier to remember. All right, might use a wheel and a glue dot. All right, so there's the front of our simple stamping card. So that was easy. Now we just need to do the inside and the envelope. Now all these products are available in my online store. I'd love you to shop with me. But I think most of the people on here today are demonstrators. But if you're not, I'd love you to shop with me. Inside of the card and the envelope. So, let's get some Night of Navy ink out of my stamp and storage. Just love the stamp and storage. I've got it on my craft desk. Still got my big storage unit that I use for everything. But when I'm crafting, like doing a video or something. Alright, what stamp am I going to use on the inside? Sailing boat, compass or anchor? Or rope? Come on girls, I need some ideas. What? What will I put on the inside of the card? Which stamp? The anchor. Thanks, Elizabeth. The anchor. All right, here we go. So it's sailing home stamps. And a block. You should always put your stamps down and your block on top so you prevent any air bubbles. And someone on the weekend was saying that she, the compass, the compass. What did Rails say? Oh, silly computer. All right, it's giving me the heebie jeebies today. Okay, Elizabeth. All right, so what did Rails say? My computer's not letting me see all the comments. So, oh, you want the compass, do you? All right, we'll try the compass. 
Now the compass has a north, south, east and west. See, this is why you should put the um, stickers on it. All right, let's see what we've got. I'll turn it around. All right. Mm. Just put my fingers in the blue ink. It's a portrait card. All right, how's that? Everybody happy? I think I need to clean some of my stamps properly. <laughs> All right, so. Just as well, every bit of card has two sides. I promise we'll do a fun fold next week. So my product of the week this week is the Come Sail Away With Me suite. And if you buy from me this week, doesn't matter what you buy, but if you spend money in my online store this week, you get six free tutorials, three cards, three 3D items. I'll show you one of the 3D items I made. It's a monster truck. Very cool. So you get the tutorial for that and a few other things as well. So six tutorials, three 3D items and three cards. And um, plus I send you a little pack of... Uh, DSP card fronts and a free card and a surprise. All right, so there's our card. So it didn't turn out to be a fun fold card. <laughs> the anchor, never mind. We put the put the compass on it to continue the circular thing. So sailing home bundle, ten percent off if you buy it as a bundle. Great product. And yeah, that's it for today. So thanks so much for all of you who stopped by today. And I'll be back on Tuesday next week. And maybe my brain won't be so fuzzy because I won't stay up till 3 o'clock in the morning reading. All right. Thanks so much, everyone, for stopping by today. Bye for now. Everybody plays a part. And doing what we love You can bet it doesn't matter where you go You find a friend who does just what They love and let it show